the main event had Kel- Calvin Qatar Cater. One, I'm st- I've heard it different from every person I announced in that fight. Although he was a big favorite against Dan Ige, he looked phenomenal. I don't. At times it was close, but it was fairly clear to me. I was actually very confused uh, listening to the broadcast. Actually, at one point I switched to, because I watched it after the fact, I switched to watching the uh, Spanish broadcast. So I didn't have to listen to just them fawning over <laughs> how close of a fight it was. How D- Danny Gay, like, oh, he almost got that round. Or like, oh, I have this even going in. It's like, I thought it, I, I could have given Ige one round. The I commentary. Really thought it was completely clear from, for Cater and... That's one of the reasons I didn't want to bet. I know he was a huge favorite. I, I had a small uh, bet on Go's decision. That was plus 384. Nothing to write home about. I think I only threw like a quarter unit on it. But I was just like, I mean, man, that really seems like a way to, to go for it. I was actually leaning towards that as a prop bet to give out on the show. But I t- had a feeling that uh, all the damage Danny Gaze took had taken in his last couple of fights. I'm not sure if he could have made it to the final bell. And uh, Calvin Kidder definitely snapped his head back a couple times. But yeah, I was a little flabbergasted by... Uh, the just fawning over Ige in this fight, similar to the fawning over Elliot. And that one, he actually got a decision. So I was getting kind of worried towards the end there. Yeah, the commentary is super biased lately. You can, it really irks me when you have a bet and the commentary is going the other way, almost like they have an agenda. But uh, it also could be just that we're just so stressed out during the bet that you, have, you just aren't uh, thinking clearly. So it is what it is, man. But uh, I, I definitely dislike the commentary a lot of the time. I miss Joe Rogan. I, I like Joe Rogan. DC and Anik together. Honestly, it, well, it's hilarious to me because obviously Michael Bisping has a lot to say and he has a lot of information to give. But then there's that weird moment when either he has it written down or someone hands him a sheet of paper and he randomly reads the miscellaneous, like, fightonomics striking stats just out of nowhere. Like, well, you know, he absorbs this man, like, and it's always like deadpan out of nowhere and he's usually off on the last number and then corrects himself but clearly reading something i'm like that that's not why you're in this position you don't have to show us your knowledge by by reading off some random technical thing that you don't have right off the top of your head that's that that's not why you're in the position you're in and honestly it takes away from the flow of the fight for me so yeah yes i started switching to a different language granted i'm I'm trying to learn spanish so that's another reason i figured hey i watched something that i kind of like have that going on in the background. Maybe some things will start clicking. But originally I was just going to watch that one, but it didn't quite go so well. If you like this clip, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you. Let's roll.